Shot Show Day 2. Man, the first uh, day of shot yesterday was, um, and my first time at shot, was exhausting. A lot of walking. I think I walked like a total between all the different um, exhibitors around um, four or five miles at least, <laughs> and that was just moving around in the convention center. Uh, really cool though, ton of um, really cool um, different manufacturers that you got to check out some really cool stuff. And so, um, also got to meet uh, Talon Sai, who uh, is from uh, you know obviously YouTube and uh, one of the guys that actually I uh, I subscribe to. So that was actually a really cool, down to earth guy, and we kind of talked about one wheels for a few minutes. So um, a little surreal on my end having a channel and then actually meeting some of the folks that have other channels that I actually watch. Uh, I saw a couple of other people too um, there, but you know, I just didn't I don't want to go up to them. But uh, it'd be, it's it's pretty surreal, a little cool. Um, I thought I was going to be able to use that Air um, Day Sling 2 uh, to hold everything that I needed to work with, uh, but it turned out I actually need a little more space, so I ended up using the uh, Triple Out Design, the Axiom 24, and that actually is working out well. The press section is really cool, um, awesome um, benefit to have. You can check your bag, you can check coats for free. It's a nice place you can stop and kind of recover. Um, free coffee and drinks and some light breakfast they had there, which um, was, was really cool. So um, let's uh, jump into today, see how it goes. Again, there's no way I could cover every single manufacturer or anything there. So I'm just gonna pick onesie, twosies, whatever I'm kind of interested in and see what we got. back with the voiceover. So this is a really cool targeting system. Uh, it's made from Reactive Target Systems Limited. Uh, it's a self-healing target that can withstand up to around 5,000 rounds. And so, as you can see from this, you shoot, it heals right after, immediately after you shoot. And so, being able to reuse that on a target is amazing. Hey, my name is Scott Jones. I'm at Wild Things. And we're talking today about the Pyrad High Loft piece. With the Pyrad, it's a gore fabric that laminates a self-extinguishing technology in between the two layers of fabric, making it so that a high loft jacket or a waterproof jacket, seam sealed, can be fully flame retardant, pyroman tested, but still use the same technologies on the inside, such as Prima Loft and breathable nylon to make sure that it's comfortable and warm, but still have FR properties on the outside. Awesome. Lastly for the day we took a look at Rhino Metals and their ridiculous vault door as well as a side table and table uh, safe that they have both of which I want in the future. Thanks for watching the video thanks for sticking around and if you like the videos please consider subscribing and I'll see you all next time.